I'm here with DJ Whatever, straight out of the Bronx, New York, my very own hometown. You may have seen him on Z100 Jingle Ball. He's also been on MTV, Spring Break, Las Vegas. If you're in New York, you can catch him on Power 105.1, ripping it up weekly. What's going on, my brother? I'm good, man. How are you? I like the intro, too, Thank man. you, man. I'm trying, uh, show, I'm trying me to be... a, show me a lot of love. I'm yeah, nothing. man. The reason I love this man the most, uh, we went to high school together. Uh -huh. Cardinal Hayes High School in the Bronx. Uh -huh. We also went to Hofstra University in Hempstead, Long Island. Man, we got to talk about it because it's important to get a little history fact. Uh, now for all you young bucks out there, uh, the very first DJ theme uh, dance party was thrown by a guy by the name of Jimmy Seville in 1943. Well, he was able to use turntables because he wanted to keep the music in continuous motion. Uh -huh. that's, a, that's correct, right? Of course. Well, when was the first time you DJed? Oh man, the first time I DJed was a house party on Jerome Avenue. <laughs> Had about 15, 20 people, you know what I mean? That probably shouldn't have been in the house right. having fun. The music industry is constantly evolving. You've been in the game for a long time. How much has it changed since the time you started? Oh, it's been a, it, a big change, man. You know, when I started, we still had to buy records. You know okay. what I mean? We still had the actual turntables. Now, you can just come to somebody, give me a hard drive, boom, you're good to go. Easy go. Uh, if you weren't DJing, what would you be doing? Uh, I think I would have did something in sports. You really? I mean? Yeah. So Next, you, Jerry Maguire? Yeah, yeah. You know, my, my goal as a kid was to be a Major League Baseball player. Really? Yeah, but that, after Hayes, that, that, that kind of That didn't work ended, out. Yeah, I couldn't hit a fastball. I said, I, I got to go with something else. You know That's what I mean? only a quick plug for him because he actually is the official DJ, official DJ uh -huh. uh, for the New York Mets. Yeah. How yeah, did that happen? Yeah, You're a Bronx yeah, boy. Yeah. You live right next Listen, to Yankee Stadium. Man, things just happen. You okay. know what I mean? The things, it just aligned your dad, up. Your dad made it yeah, happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. My dad, exactly. He made it happen. You know what I mean? Okay. So, you know, we used to go to Shea once in a while. You know what I mean? So it's cool. You got a lot going on, uh, particularly when dealing with the youth. Plug your mm -hmm. DJ Academy. Oh, I got to It's called the Whatever It Takes DJ Academy. You know, when you reach a certain level of success, man, you want to give back, especially yeah. to kids that look like you that are in your community and just show them, you know, that there's other things that they can do. When we, I feel like when we were in school growing up, people weren't exposed to, to different career paths, things like what you're doing now, yeah. things like what I'm doing. So, you know, it's, I felt like it was, it was my obligation, man, to be able to, you know, to give back. Listen, man, what, is there any DJ, any DJ, you could name anybody that motivated you to go out there and uh, get on the ones and twos? Um, yeah, I would say Cool DJ Red Alert. Old head, as they yeah, say. Yeah, yeah, that's my guy right one there. One of the forefathers. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly, <laughs> exactly. But yeah, that's one of my guys right there. Okay. And, you know, growing up, man, here in the Bronx, you know, listening to him on the radio, it influenced me, man. It made me have a drive to want to be on the radio. Yeah. If you were making your first album, and you yeah. had to put an artist on it, dead or alive, who would it be? This is a tough one, man. Okay. You like you like throwing these questions yeah, on me and put me on the spot. <laughs> I would have to say, big pun. Okay. Can I throw in one more? Please. Biggie Smalls. Why not? A little birdie landed on my shoulder. He said you're a little bit of a food connoisseur. Uh -huh. Now you were in the Iron Skillet Cook-Off Challenge? Yeah, yeah. What's I'm that glad. about? The guys over there, they reached out to me. Right. You know, being that I work for iHeartRadio, they, they wanted a, a celebrity judge from there. I did it uh, one year, it was excellent. Right. And they asked me uh, to come back, you know, the next year. So it was it was cool, man. It was a different experience. Okay. You know, from what I'm normally used to. And now, you are, are you a better judge than my main man, Large? I think so. Okay. Let's, we'll you see. Know, we gonna check it out, we'll right? See. We we'll gonna see. try. We'll see what you're talking yeah. about. Large, we'll see what's up. <laughs>